people were saying, suggesting to Bea that she should apologize for what? The thing is, bullies are really the, the biggest cowards. Bullies are the one that's power tripping. No holds barred. Manager ni Bea Alonzo na si Shirley Kwan pumalag sa mga akusasyon ni Lolit Solis laban kay Bea. Nag-ingay si Lolit na power tripper si Bea dahil pinatanggal daw ng aktres sa guest list si Lolit sa isang endorsement press con. Nanindigan naman si Shirley na bago pa ang controversial press con, panay tirada na si Lolit sa aktres. Nagsimula raw ang pagtira ni Lolit kay Bea mula nang pumirma ang aktres sa GMA noong 2021. Lumalabas nga ang umikot sa apat na tema ang IG posts ni Lolit kontra kay Bea mula November 2021 to October 2022. Una, pagnega sa pagbida ni Bea sa Startup PH ng GMA7. Ikalawa, pagkumpara kay Bea sa kapuso primetime queen Marian Rivera. Ikatlo, pagkumpara kay Bea kay Julia Barreto. Ikaapat, pagsabing rebound lang ni Bea si Dominic Roque at di pa rin over kay Gerald Anderson. Ang sagot ni Shirley Kwan dito sa Pep Exclusives. Power tripping allegedly si Bea. Kasi How could there be siya. power tripping? Where's the power tripping? Bullies are the one that's power tripping. And that's a fact. When you read about it, these are these are just the common traits of a bully who's power tripping and playing victim and by reversing the narrative. Okay? Klaruhin natin, yung mga bully, sila yung nagbabaliktad ng kwento para maawa sa kanila at para sa kanila maniwala. Diba? We've been very quiet about it because we're very considerate of her age. You know, of her situation, even before she she was declared that she was not healthy anymore and, you know, getting treatment. Even before that, never kami pumatol because we feel that bullies are just seeking attention. And our stand is we do not glorify bullies. We will never glorify bullying because bullying is never okay. Bullying will never be okay. So... What made you decide to speak up now after ignoring her for the past few months? Or because you? I took my cue from Bea. Because Bea does not want any uh, interaction. So we don't want to make it a big issue. That's why we've been ignoring these police. But at the recent press con, she was asked about how she deals with bashers. And she, she apparently, it's all in the net. She really did a good answer. And then there was a private conversation. It was not even during the press con between Tito Mario, who asked her specifically about this bully and what, what can she say. And um, she even said, good words and just extended kind of um, an olive branch that she's, you know, pushing her well. May nagsulat pa nun? Wala. ba? Ang gusto nila sulatin lang yung lahat, lahat ng pag-aata. Because it sells. Bullying sells, unfortunately. ba? When you say something, the truth, parang nobody wants to announce it there. That's why I'm here. To really Put a light on the truth. Because I thought that people will understand that Bea has never provoked this bully. Never. And also what they think, people were saying, suggesting to Bea that she should apologize for what? You think if you have a child being bullied, you're gonna you're gonna tell your child to say sorry to the bully? and send a flower to the bully? To apologize to a bully? I don't think you'd do that. There are ways of handling bullies, but not glorify them, not apologize to them, not tolerate them. Was there an effort on your part to speak to or talk to No, not at all, because I know how, this, how, know how bullies are and how she is. We cannot control this person. She was doing her own narratives 
I don't want her to, to do all these narratives and say that we even approached her because we were guilty and all that kind of stuff. I know her that well. She can twist. I'm too scared to allow her to twist the narrative. I want to be careful. I've been very careful because ang alaga ko isang Bea Alonso. Every move I make will reflect on her. Everything I say will reflect on her. We just don't want to be near bullies. We just don't want to have anything to do with this bully. We just ignore. Ignore, ignore, ignore. And apparently, bullies don't like that. Because they want to show people that they have power. Na silang nagpa-power tripping, hindi kami. Diba? We just want to stay away. That's all. We want it peaceful. We never answered. We never privately or publicly. Never. To leave it alone. I'm already saying it now that nag-umpisa lahat ng tira niya noong pa, noong pumasok siya sa GMA, hindi during the press con because she was not invited. She was not, there was no list. The list didn't even exist. Ako ang nagtanong, ako ang nagsabi, ako ang nagsabi sa tatlong pangalan. At hindi ako natakot sabihin sa kanila, sabihin nyo, ako ang nagsabi. Meron din po sinabi si Manay na sinabi din po niya yun and I remember na wala kaming away ever ni Bea. Never ko pa siyang nakita in person. Hindi kami magkakilala kaya dapat wala kaming maging issue. Oh, sinabi pala niya. Bakit hindi sinakyan yun ng mga writers, ng mga ganyan? Bakit don't they choose to believe what she wants them to believe? You know? Because nga, nagpa-power tripping siya. Eh, ayan na siya na mismo umamin. That's really the truth. Unprovoked. Gusto niya mag-awa yung dalawa. Kasi siya yung bagong salta sa bahay na yan. Na pwede mag-rainakinakan dyan. Diba? You can't. And you don't. Paano mo sasagutin ang bully na ganyan? Diba? Papatulan mo ba yon?